up you guys welcome back to my channel i am blackness monet for those of you who are new and returning welcome 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 back i know it's been a while y'all just love me for who i am okay it's it'd be rough like i have so many videos on my phone that i haven't uploaded yet it's crazy like that second part to the video that i was supposed to upload in december yeah it's still on my phone yeah like that one Hey, what's yeah. up, y'all? So we're going to play, play a couple Black snippets from that video, is. too, just to kind of, like, <laughs> talk about whatever I was talking about in December. Who knows? But anyways, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, y'all haven't really seen me, so I'm going to try to do, like, a little bit of an introduction. Um, I am Lock Ness Monet. Like I said, my name was inspired by my locks. Um, Lock Ness, like Linus, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so Loch Ness and Monet is a derivative of my middle name. So Loch Ness Monet. I have had my sister locks for three years and 10 months now. I'm approaching my fourth Lockversary, June 2020, June 25th, 26, 2020. I will be officially four years locked. Um, this journey has been great. It has been, uh... I wouldn't say bumps in the road, but just like any other journey, you know, you have some good days, you have some bad days. Um, I myself am a person with locks who has seborrheic dermatitis and eczema. So all of you out there um, who are kind of like, uh, I don't, my, my scalp is not going to act right because of my dermatitis, trust me. I've been there, been through it, been down through the valley, the shadow of death. Okay, been down there. Um, but it's possible, you know, anything is possible. So it's just a little more, um, I don't want to say time consuming, but you just have to really know your scalp, know what, uh, kind of triggers your flare ups and try to keep those down. As far as what I wash my hair with is basically still the same thing. Been using the same thing for years. Um, it's the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. Either that or the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Shampoo. Um, there's also a Sally's brand from Sally Beauty. There's a Sally brand that uh, it's a lot cheaper than the Paul Mitchell brand. And I dilute them all um, so they last a good little bit. So they last a good little bit of time. And it also helps um, not only cleanse my scalp, but it just helps kind of calm my dermatitis. Keep it kind of, you know, leveled out. So that's it about washes. I typically wash my hair um, once a week, maybe seven to 10 days, depending. Sometimes it's, it's earlier than that. Sometimes I'll just rinse. It just depends. Uh, like I work out a lot, so my scalp gets sweaty a lot and I have to um, find like a happy medium. Cause some, some days, like I said, it just depends if I have it in a style, um, like some, plaits like I have now I can typically go you know maybe five to five to seven days with these in take them down wear them out for like two days and then I'll wash it just depends so um that's my my routine for washes I only use the sister locks um what is it it's the deep condition it's the conditioning um Stuff in that jar forget what it's called but i'm finna go find out i'll put it right here i forgot it's just blank my my face my mind my, my went blank anyways so i use that after i wash my hair um some people go all the way down to the roots and then leave it in some people will go to the roots um wash it out some people will go only the shaft of their locks and then rinse so i'm gonna keep go the shaft of their locks and then um and keep it in so as of late well 
when I do use it, I usually go just to just my locks, not so much my roots, just my locks, and um, I'll rinse. I'll rinse it, just not a full rinse. So I'll rinse out the product, but it's totally fine to leave it in. Um, some people refrigerate theirs, some people don't. So, I mean, it's just one of those preference things, you know what I'm saying? Anything different about my locks going on right now? Um, I did color my locks. I utilized the, um, uh, I'm gonna put that in there too. See, it's coming up right now. Right there. That's what I used on my hair. Um, this was about two and a half, about two weeks ago. <laughs> Y'all, I ended up only coloring the first top of my head because I didn't have enough. So I wasn't smart enough to go on YouTube to go look at other people color their locks prior um, to, to go in to buy the product. Cause I would have known to buy more than one box. Like I got like a quarter of my hair done. I was like, mm, it's not gonna be enough. So <laughs> I left it in for about 45 minutes to an hour um, because it's gonna take longer to color locks than it will um, unlocked hair. And so I left it in for about, yeah, like 45 minutes to an hour and then I rinsed it out. So of course it wasn't gold. It wasn't that gold color this in the box because I feel like it'll take another application to get that that particular color but I'm totally fine it's like a light brown I wouldn't say ginger but it's a lighter brown than my original hair color because my locks my hair color is completely ebony black darkness that's my hair color and I'm okay with that I actually like it being like that dark um, if y'all have any other questions about what's been going on with my hair, like I say right now, I got it in about 20 plaits. I typically don't even do them this small. I just was like, I need something that's something I can like maintain for a couple more days, a little bit longer than five to seven days, typically because I, um, work in the hospital. I am an ER nurse. So I, as of lately, since this whole Corona thing has been going on, I've been wearing my slaps, um, So I'll put these on, they are satin lined. I love them, but I'll have them over my whole head. Um, and that's how I've been wearing my hair um, for this whole quarantine thing. But anywho, um, as far as other products that I use on my hair, I still do, um, when I have time, I'll like apply products to my edges, you know, just to jazz them up. Some people are against it, some people aren't, whatever floats your boat. However, I still do it to mine. I don't do them often, but I do. Um, again, because I do have separate dermatitis, and as you can see, like there's some lighter areas, even some more dry patches of my scalp that has um, uh, shows like where I've had some, I had a flare, like I've been battling this flare for about two weeks. Um, I've applied my product for my dermatologist. It's been great. Um, just managing um, something that I'll have to manage for the rest of my life. So there's no point of being upset about it. Because when you get upset and get stressed, it only makes the flares worse. Okay. So don't stress about it. Live with it. Do what you do, but watch my shoes. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I want to talk about this product I bought on Instagram. It is, I actually bought both of them. It's by I Am Blessed Hands. Um, she is on Instagram. Can y'all see that? Let's see if I can focus that up. Maybe not. Anywho, it is um, by I Am Blessed Hands. This particular one is called Unicorn Snot. And then I also bought the Superior Edges. Um, extra hold so if you go on Instagram you will see come on light strip in there we go so you will see exactly what and how she utilized these products some people use them separately some people use them together I've used these both in the past I tried them both out um, using them separately doesn't work as good as using them together so 
um, I found that using them together works better. And I also noticed that if you apply like any oils like to your scalp before, you know, some people do that, they'll damp their hair or like apply some oils before they apply their edge control, um, this doesn't hold. Only oil I typically apply to my hair is coconut oil. So um, I just, I noticed that I did that one time and it just didn't hold like period. So I'm gonna do a live demonstration while I'm on here, you know. Um, one thing about this unicorn snot, it, the blue, it show up blue. So, I mean, it hold, but it show up. This do too. Well, this one's not that bad. This is just like, see, it's just like that, kind of like that regular, that consistency of like a, like, like a grease. And then this is just the, the unicorn snot is like, like the gorilla. Yeah, if anybody used the gorilla snot gel, hair gel, is like that. So I'm gonna do a live one real quick just so y'all can see. So I'm gonna start with the um the superior hole. We're gonna start with this and then we'll follow up with the with the unicorn snot. scarf on about five ten minutes depending on the amount of time I have um Gilly beers on longer doesn't really depend but I did want to talk about um like a little bit more about these um before I took my scarf off and as you can see I don't really do my edges I don't I do them but I don't do them that's how why I don't really know what to do when I do them like usually I'll do the two swoops and call it a day I try to do three it's just too, uh, just too much. Um, and then like my new growth, I'm going, this is week six. I'm like six weeks, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three, uh, six weeks, three days into my quarantine without a retie. Okay. So um, a lot of that is, it's going to be back in, in locks before, you know, I do my edges again anyways. Anyway, so with the unicorn snot one, this little black writing says, 
sweat and humidity proof, impeccable hold, no flaking for all hair types and fast drying. The uh, superior edges extra hold says fast drying edge control, guaranteed 24 hour hold. For natural and permed hair, new and improved formula. So, like I said, I've used them both before. Um, and usually when I go to work. So, I'll just say that, I don't know about a 24 hour hold for me. Um, but it is a good product. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. As you can see, like, I have nothing. I had no oil. Well, I did put some oil in my hair yesterday. So maybe that's the reason why. But prior to that, I mean, it, it wasn't any initial oil. Maybe I should try dampening my hair and then applying it and see how that holds. I don't know. Um, but I had to apply additional product to kind of like reshape what, you know, because initially I started with three. So I had to apply additional product to kind of like get anything done. But anyways, I don't know if it's been five minutes or not. It don't really matter because I'm about to go to sleep anyway. So this is what it looks like. Uh, after I've worn the scarf. So it ain't been there. It ain't been on for too long. And as you can see, like, if I mess with them, you know, they'll, they'll move. So. Now, any other day, I could do my edges and they look fairly decent. But when I want to do a video, they look a mess. In two ways. There they go. So overall, I like the product. Um, if y'all want to give it a try, I think this would be a good one for y'all to try. Again, I recommend getting them both and using them both. Um, I know some women, they'll use the Eco Styler and it works for them. It doesn't work for me. Nothing really works for me besides that daggone Gorilla Snot. <laughs> and sometimes they don't even work. It just depends. Um, but I usually will like if i'm in the shower i will wash my edges um i will not leave it in i know some people leave their gel products in and then they'll kind of just like maneuver them um like as the days go on and then they don't apply the product every day i just rinse it out completely or i take my washcloth and then i like wash around like my edge area and then i like apply, apply like some oil or something just to kind of keep it um from getting caked up so that's that about this product overall i will give it you know i would say try it i mean you can't really go wrong um, my hair is about like a 4b 4c type um, especially around my edges um now this is 4c okay in the back like around my perimeter i have like a 4b even some areas of 4a but um that's my hair type outside of locks um yeah that's pretty much it y'all i don't have anything else to talk about at this particular moment but i hope that you all have enjoyed this video um just a little bit of an update on me like i said my hair isn't down but i will show you actually yeah you'll see it you will see my hair down now like it being down completely down now um right now right there Okay, so um, yeah, uh, my hair isn't down right now. Like I said, it's in my quarantine styles. I'm still working in the ER, so I plait my hair up, put my slaps on, and I go to work. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And oh, I know it's something else. So how many of y'all have taken the um, virtual retightening class? Anybody? You? you okay so y'all yeah, taking it um for those of you who have taken it let me know down in the comment box below how did you feel about it um do you felt like do you feel like it was helpful um how are you um maintaining or how you how's it going with you maintaining your own locks 
um, I kind of want to just get some input on that because initially before um, all of this coronavirus stuff started, I had um, not a virtual class, but I had a physical class with my loctician, my consultant, um, for her to you know, explain how the process is. So I know the price jumped from 250 to 325. Tell me how y'all feel about that too. Um, down in the comment box below, we can even make another video about this, talking completely about it, um, virtual retightening, or if you just watch YouTube videos and restart retightening, what tools are you using? Are you using the sister locks tools? Are you using some locks you've seen some fellow lock sisters use. Um, talk to me. Let's see, you know, what the what the chit chat is about. Cause some I know some women are still debating on if they want to take the virtual class and then go ahead and start retiding their locks or if they're just gonna wait it out um to see, you know, when they'll be able to get back in with their loctician. Or some of y'all already retire hair anyways before this even started. So I kind of want to have a conversation about it um, because I still plan on taking the physical class um, just so that I can know how to retype my own locks. Um, not saying that I'm going to do it every time, but I do at least want to know in times like these where, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, I usually don't typically go past six weeks. Um, and after speaking to my consultant, it may even be another six weeks before I can be able to get into her chair. So we talk about three months of no retire. I think the longest I've ever went was eight weeks. So we'll see. So let's talk about that um, in our next video. Y'all leave me your thoughts, everything. Leave it, lay it down on the table because I want to know how y'all feel about that. Um, but again, if y'all have any other questions about my own locks, I would love to answer them. Have no issue. Um... If anybody have questions about my lashes, um, I purchased these through um, an old high school classmate. She down has her own lock, um, her lock business, her own lash business, and it's called Diva Lock. Uh, Diva. Girl, I'm trying to give you some locks. <laughs> but it's called Diva Lashes, okay? Um, here is the container that they come in. It is very professional. She'll send you your locks in these, or she also, I remember, has like a three pack that comes like a bigger, bigger one. But they are 100% 3D mink lashes. Y'all know why my camera won't focus. It's like been acting, it's been acting crazy. Anyway, so that's that. Um, has all her information on the back. Her name is Eva Cohen, and she is the owner of Diva Lashes with an E. So D-E-V-A Lashes. Um, she's on Instagram at diva.lashes. So you can find her on there, um, Facebook as well. And then her email address is also in her Facebook and, and, and Instagram pages. So you can email her, um, DM her if y'all have questions. Um, I love these this particular pair these are called the signatures and they're not i don't know what mm they are and me and a co-worker the other other week we were talking about mms and the links and i don't know about all of that but these aren't too long i feel like i can wear these um just on a daily basis um i usually don't wear my lashes to work because i just i'm constantly putting on the n95 taking it off putting on masks putting on face shields I don't got time. So I'll just uh, like maybe throw my brows on and call it a day. Sometimes I don't even do that. But anyways, um, if you want to look into maybe getting some 3D mink lashes, I recommend her and her company. Um, she responds back. Great communicator. If you have any questions, this is a good brand, a good company to look into. So that's that. Strong, strong. Yeah, I'm strong, strong. <laughs> in multiple ways but you guys that's it that wraps it up i know it's kind of like a all over the place but i didn't want to necessarily give y'all that video that i shot back in december i kind of wanted to 
give y'all something a little more up to date. So again, if y'all have any questions, leave them down below. Um, what I talked about earlier about the whole um, retightening the virtual class, how you feel about it, etc. Y'all leave that down below too. So in the meantime, between time, I will see you guys later. And I'm out. Bye.